This is the spike I showed you in the last episode. See how much it has grown? It is going to be a nice white. I think there are 16 to 18 flowers. The shade cloth should be 50% black or 70% white. I prefer 50% black because it's not so glary to the eyes. Flat roof is preferred because pitch roof prevent even penetration of rainwater. The height of the roof should be at least 8 feet to allow more even working of the sprinklers. However, it depends on the water pressure. I have one and a quarter inch copper pipes. There's plenty of pressure. I have a concrete floor. It allows better weight control. The steel benches are for easy disinfection and the plants are well spaced. The focus are turned on whenever it is over 30 degrees. The bulk of the nutrient is supplied by Nutrigood. There are two types. One with high phosphorus for flower boosting. The other is high nitrogen for foliage boosting. I use a mixture in mature plants. The trace elements are supplied by Campbell's 30 mix, which I can't get anymore. I think this one by Yates works quite well too. The MPK is supplied by Thrive. It is commonly available. An easy way to apply the fertilizer is by using an old lawn fertilizer bottle which has been rinsed out thoroughly. Put plenty of the Thrive and make a concentrated solution. Fill it up with water. Replace the cap. The cap has a built in venturi to pump out the concentrate and scatter to the plants. Click on the hose and where you go. Just spray it on. It will only take five minutes to do a third of my plants. I'll remove the dead leaves as soon as possible because they harbor pests and shade the healthy leaves. In this plant, the side leaves have drooped. This is how I upright them. I use a piece of twisty to tie them together. This will allow optimum photosynthesis. The one behind has been done. Isn't it a work of art? The importance of pest control cannot be overstressed. The two main pests in my nursery are the cockroaches and the rats. Cockroach damage is suspected and the edge of the petals is serrated. Red damage is even more devastating. I lost a whole crop of seedling from a hungry rat overnight. 
need I tell you the significance of sterilizing the equipment? I use a hospital grade disinfecting detergent to scrub the knives twice. By the way, I don't use secateurs or scissors because the hinges are very difficult to disinfect. For dividing big pans, I use an axe. This is the detergent that I use. I use it undiluted. I used to use it as a dentist. The need to control weed is obvious. Of all the weeds, the weed that I hate most is oxalis. Because it is very hard to pull out the roots, it can be very stubborn. Furthermore, the seeds actually jump a few feet can spread to the adjacent part quite quickly. If any one of you know how to control them by spraying, please let me know in the comment section. A few fans asked to see my orange collection. Here they are. I love this one. This one is huge. I have broken off two spikes. It has five spikes to start with. This is the one that I use for most of my orange breeding. This one has a nice shape, but the color needs to be worked on. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, share and like. See you next time.